Hello, so here's a tutorial video on using mail merge to create your progress reports uh, for elementary instrumental music. So uh, a couple things need to happen uh, in order to do this. You need a couple documents. One is this music report card uh, template or, or sample. Um, in this case, I'm recording this in the fall of 2020 and we're on a trimester system. So this has just been changed recently to re reflect trimesters. Um, and I've got this uh, report card template. The other thing I have is this music schedule uh, with names Excel document. And it's important that right now both documents be in this application in, in Microsoft Excel and in Microsoft Word. Um, right now there's not a um, Google equivalent that works out quite as smoothly as the Microsoft option. So um, in the Microsoft uh, Excel document, it's very important that you have these this column here uh, with all the correct headings uh, spelled exactly, uh, you know, the, a particular way. So I have school, I have the class name, which refers to the, the kind of the smaller group of students. And then the ensemble refers to the larger group, which might be beginning band or or um, beginning strings. Uh, but the class name would refer to a smaller section of students. Um, their music class times, so day one and day two, uh, the student's first name and last name their instrument, uh, their classroom teacher name, it just I think it just says teacher in the document, uh, their room number, and then the grades. Uh, G1 refers to their general musicianship in the first quarter. Uh, H1 refers to their home practice in the first quarter. And A1 refers to their attendance in the first quarter. And the sample I'm using here goes all the way through the whole school year. Uh, but you, see, you can see I've got uh, all the information filled out correctly. And so now I'm going to go to um, link this document, link this Microsoft uh, Word document to the Excel document, and it's going to automatically fill in all the information. And so you go up to here to mailings and then start mail merge. Uh, and then select recipients. And I'm going to use an existing list. Uh, the existing list is that Excel document. So I'm going to use that exi existing list, uh, document. And right now I'm just going to kind of find that document. It might be different, you know, in a different location on your on your document or in your computer. Uh, but I'm kind of linking the Excel document with uh, this report card. And so now they're 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 linked up. And if I click this option for preview results, it should give me all the information automatically filled in. So the student's name, their room number, what grade they're in, their music class number, uh, all their um, grading information is filled in. Um, and then uh, the, the comments here. Uh, one thing I think I would change would be to add, uh, I'm gonna insert the student's first name here and then um, have the comments. So that way it would say, you know, the, the student's name uh, would benefit from more practice time at home. And then from there, you can click finish and merge and you can print the documents. And there's a couple different ways you can go about that. But uh, that's the basic instruction on how to link up your um, Excel document to the Microsoft Word document in order to create uh, your progress reports. I hope that's helpful for you.